Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is my final Halloween 2020 video and I'm so excited for this one. I've been waiting to do this for at least two years. This is a collaboration with Stace, Stace Makes, so I'm going to link her video down below. Her video actually went up yesterday as part of a Halloween hop. Mine goes out today and uh, I'm so excited. This is fully inspired by Monster Tutorials and another channel I will link them both down below now I'm in Tim's man cave right now so if you can hear the rain it is pouring down I'm really sorry I'm trying to speak as loud as I can but uh yeah I bought this skeleton about a month ago and uh, Tim stole it so he bought me another one so that I could actually do what I wanted to do to it and uh yeah I hope you really love the video I loved doing this one so I really hope um, you guys love it too so that's it from me for Halloween so thank you so much for your support the next video out is Christmas it's Christmas wait hold on hold on it's Christmas so I have brought Mr Skeleton out into my workshop for today's video just because I will be heating up plastic making sure that I've got my mask on for fumes and of course it doors and windows are open so I've got him laying out on this bench in my workshop and uh, the first step is going to be to cut up this plastic and start wrapping him up I'm going to hook the camera up at this angle so that you can get a really good view of what I'm doing I don't know what I'm doing but it will be a lot of fun the plastic I'm using is this polyurethane drop sheet which I got from B&Q which I actually bought for my resin it's perfect because resin doesn't stick to it but this is the sheet that I'm using to wrap him up and then I'm going to use my heat tool down here this is lavender so ignore the mess it's just making the room smell really nice I'm going to use my heat tool slowly but surely melt the plastic and it will cling to Mr. Skeleton. That is the theory and yeah, so I'm just gonna crack on and get started.
it is the next day. It's time to paint the skeleton. So for that, I am using what I've got left. I only realized at this point, I've hardly got anything left. So I'm using some walnut stain and some brown acrylic paint mixed together, a little bit of water. Hopefully that will do the job. I was thinking about going on to highlight it, low light it, but I think I'm gonna keep it all natural. So the plan now is to dab this all over that plastic as much as you can get on there. I haven't got much, so I need to go easy here. I'm going to dab it all over and then I'm gonna use a paper towel to dab it off. I tried rubbing it off, you'll see in a second, and I realized it took too much away. So I'm going to pile the paint on and then just lightly dab with kitchen towel to take off the excess and all the dark areas will settle into those creases and just make it look extra, extra spooky. And I really loved seeing it come to life like this. And yeah, so excited. Anyway, I'm gonna put the music back on now. To get the teeth looking like they're really old, I just went over them with the stain and rubbed my finger over and that just left that stain in all of the crevices of the teeth. I just love the effect it gave. So I'm now going to repeat the whole process for the back 
and I am just worried because I am rapidly running out of paint. So I start brushing it all over and hoping that I can make that paint go further than just dabbing it in. But luckily I did have enough just about to cover the majority of the piece. But there are definitely areas left at the end where I can just see white plastic painters drops sheet but you know that is something I can go back to afterwards and revisit and make sure that I paint those areas out. And here he is in all of his gruesomely gorish detail, just looking fabulous, hanging from the ceiling of my workshop. So <laughs> I'm not sure where he's going to live. Once he's dry, he'll just live with the rest of the Halloween decor. But I absolutely love him. I did decide to just keep him in that naturally, like, just dug up look. You can go all in with the blood, the gore and the guts. Um, I decided not to on this piece. Might even I might even add to it next Halloween. But I really love it. Let me know what you think. And thank you so much to Stace for the collaboration. I cannot wait to see your corpse in. This has been a fun one. Something I've been wanting to do for two years. So thank you so much. For those who've inspired me, I'm going to link them down below. And for Stace for the collaboration. And I really hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think. And the next video is Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas. It's so um, this is my final Halloween. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.